Hello, boys and girls. Okay, we are going to have our Bible time, <clears throat> and we have been talking about the story of Jesus. And so the last time we read our Bible, we were talking about Jesus comes to Jerusalem. Okay, so we're going to review that story real quick in my beginner's Bible, and then we're going to read the next couple of stories in here as well that's going to take us all the way up to Jesus dying for our sins. Okay, and this is going to lead us all the way up to our spring break time where we are celebrating Easter and all the things that, that this story is about. So we're going to have our Jesus story all done by Friday, okay? So let's start by reviewing what we read last time, okay? The true king. Jesus and his disciples went to Jerusalem for the Passover feast. Jesus told two disciples to bring him a donkey, and he told them where to find it. Jesus rode the donkey to Jerusalem, and a big crowd welcomed him. Remember that big crowd? People waved palm branches and put them on the road in front of Jesus. They shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is the King of Israel. The leaders in Jerusalem did not like Jesus. They saw how many people were following him, and they were very angry about it, and they were jealous. Okay, so now we're going to skip we know that some of those people, some of those leaders were very angry about Jesus coming to Jerusalem. So now we're going to skip a little bit forward and we're going to read the story of Jesus is arrested and crucified. So there were some men who didn't like Jesus and they wanted him arrested. So let's read that story. Judas went to the leaders, and he asked, How much will you pay me if I help you capture Jesus? They said, We'll pay you 30 pieces of silver. So Judas took the money and made a plan. He knew where Jesus was. So Jesus had gone to his favorite garden, Jesus knew that he was going to be arrested. He knew that they were looking for him. So he went to his favorite garden to pray. And the disciples went along too. Jesus prayed, Father, if it is your will, I am ready to give my life so that all the people who trust in me will be saved from their sins. So Jesus prayed and prayed, and the disciples even fell asleep because Jesus prayed for so long into the night. And Jesus prayed all he wanted was for the people who believed in him to have a beautiful life on earth. So he said, Father, I will die for those who believe in me so that they can be saved from their sins. Soon Judas arrived with some soldiers. Peter wanted to protect Jesus, but Jesus said, No, I must, al must, I must allow this to happen. All the disciples ran away, and the soldiers arrested Jesus. So the disciples wanted to protect him, but Jesus said, no, no, I want this to happen because he had done all that praying in the garden. They took Jesus to the leaders and the leaders said, you say that you are the son of God? We do not believe you. 
See how angry they are? The soldiers took charge of Jesus and they made him carry a big wooden cross and it was very heavy. They took him to a place called the skull. There they nailed Jesus to the cross. And this was a very sad day. Jesus died on the cross. And he died for our sins. Everyone who loved Jesus was very sad. Look at all the sad people. It was a very sad day. But they forgot something important. Jesus had said that he would see them again soon. And we will see him again soon. And we'll do that in the next story. Okay, on Friday we'll finish our story. Alright, that was today's Bible story time.